Welcome back to another tutorial of Geo Package in the GIS World Academy. In this short video, I'm going to talk about joints, what is the concept of primary key and foreign key, how to update a foreign key column using a special joint, and finally, how to handle one to many relationships in the Geo Package using joints. If you are excited, let's get started. So before we start, maybe we can take a look at our geo package file. So you can, you have already seen that JS word underline city name. Uh, this is my method. Always the name of the QGA file should be exactly the same as the geo package file. Okay. So if you don't have it, or if you have already, or if you forgot it, so it is very easy. Just you should go to the folder. So you, for me, it's the YouTube geo package geo data, and then just you should click on it, and then. Uh, your geo package will be connected to the geo package tab okay and then uh, because if you if you don't know how to create the tables just take a look at our previous tutorial last session okay maybe i can add uh, the land parcel first now uh, we should create uh, the relation between the building and land parcel i try to like to find the correct land parcel for this study area but I couldn't find it, but it is no problem for us. You can create a dummy land parcel. <laughs> okay, it's not correct. Please don't don't do it in the future. But just this is for the uh, for our tutorial. Uh, just I don't know eighty or fifty or such a things. Everything will be fine. Just okay. And these are now my grades. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, this is not a correct. So definitely, one one building should belong to one parcel. Okay, this one is not correct. But now it will makes a lot of challenges for us. How we how can I transfer the GML uh, ID of land parcel GML ID to the building G, uh, to the uh, to the table of the building? So after that, we can make a join or a primary key foreign key one to many relationship. So. It's first of all a step by step. We will just transfer the grid. Just select all of them. Activate the editing button. Click on the editing copy feature. <clears throat> Sorry. After that, uh, we will click on the OSM. Click on this button, and after that, edit paste features. Everything has already been pasted. I will remove it. I will open the OSM land parcel attribute table we will go to the gml id i have already explained it last sessions gml id geospatial or a geographic markup language we uh, in the official data formats you have xml data everything is there so i name it here because of this in the future if you are working with the official data you will see this name because of the ogc standards okay and then after that the gml id I will use concat. You can also use the string concatenator. Both of them are correct, but I like functions. Yeah. So GIS world underline CD name because they are the land parcel and you want to make a little bit difference between it. In the official format, always it is started with, for example, in the Germany, we are, it is started with the DE Deutschland. So I think it is first of all started with the country, a state, city, and then it will go to the small, small sections. And after that, some digits plus some maybe characters, yeah? Okay, then I will choose the row number plus why I make everything mess. Okay, plus 10,000. 10,000, it is because of the ordering. The type is the string and I want to have everything in order. Then, okay, yeah, it looks good. Then I will go to the number, update existing field, number. So, shift adds row number and then plus um, row number because it will be same as FID. I don't want it to be the same. Maybe I can just plus 900. It's not, looks really nice, but please accept it from myself. <laughs> This is a city name and then create a time modified time. Also, they are very easy. And also for me, it's, they are very important. It is, they are really, really helpful for your 
future projects and then modify time so both some if you are using a python programming and pyqgis you can also take a look at our pyqgis course uh, so in that case both of them will be same but here we have some seconds difference but anyway it's not important for now okay so data it's ready just i will close it so i have already created some dummy land parcels now i want to know that this building is belonging to this land parcel or this land parcel there are a lot of different methods you can use if i just call the location join attribute by location you can say that okay i have the buildings and then after that you are making a one-to-many relationship I really recommend not to do that because in that case so here it will create two buildings so it is not correct you don't know which one is belonging to which one if you use intersect cover and they are a lot of challenges i really recommend to convert the polygon to the point when you are converted so it, because it is the point you will be 100 percent sure that it is here in this land parcel in this land parcel or in this land parcel but again if you have a topology problem you have again another thing you should clean the data and after that uh, go to the next step but we are we are now we are 100 percent sure we don't have any topology problem just we we, we we will know that if we convert the polygon to the point point will be here or there so again here they a lot of people using centroid but i'm not angry with the centroid because of the if we have the irregular buildings with the irregular shape just osm land parcel run it with the centroid oh, oh, oh sorry uh, it is not correct i make it with the grid centroid osm buildings okay now it looks better so here it is fine I hear again no if I can find one of them because uh, the thing that QGIS do is just making a minimum bounding box around it and then make the center of it for example here by chance it's correct but if just think about the center it is here so the point will be outside I don't know if I, if we have such a things here it's been, yeah perfect yeah we have it now if you make an intersect between the point and the building it will not work. Why? Uh, because, uh, yes, you know that, that this building, this is the point, but it is not correct. Uh, so in that case, I will I will really, really recommend that instead of the centroid, please use point on surface. In that case, you are, you will be 100% sure that the point will be, uh, it is my building, point on it surface then i will run it yes you can see that the point it is exactly on a building so if you are doing the vice versa if you want to know that which point is belonging to which building so in this case you will not have any problem okay uh, because in the in the industry so also if you are export or creating such a points you wanted to save them okay as a backup but anyway just we will continue it you can also use the both of them for this project it's not a really big deal but point on the surface is the most reliable one because losing the data it is really really bad for the gis specialists and gis developers losing data for example here is a very small area just think about you're working on a scale of the country or i don't know city with a millions of geospatial features always try to be more and more logic with you when you are working with the data okay so now i have my points so now it's time to make a uh, location so join attribute by location i want to connect the point to the land parcel one to many relationship and after that yes intersect definitely it should work properly and join type it is one to many relationship yes and i think everything will be fine so i just run it i will open the join here maybe we can take a look at it 
or or maybe yeah the better way it was that uh yes i should just add the the gml id but i think it is fine so i will now remove the point we don't need it i have a joint layer and now i wanted to connect now the joint layer with the os and maybe we can also check it the number of the joint layer should be exactly same as the number of the buildings yeah it is fine so i will right click on the osm building and after that the properties and after that the join after that adding a relation so here we want to so we are on an osm building we want to make a connection one to one relation between the osm land part uh, no yes in between the joint layer with which column gml id to the gml id and then which column we need we need the gml id too and also we can customize it so here you can see that here it is it is try to always use the lowercase and underline don't use any space because if you want to type it so you cannot use the auto uh, uh, auto estimating the word yeah uh, auto completion oh yes and also uh, in the in the best case of the postgre postgis and postgres this one is recommended not a space or uh, uppercase so in that case it will be case sensitive okay so okay and uh, what happened why i have uh, yeah now it's fine so apply okay then I will open the attribute. Yeah, perfect. You can see that now I have my building. So maybe I can just. So it is really nice. You can see that these three buildings, maybe we can check them. And then zoom to feature. Maybe I can dock it somewhere. Okay. So yes, it looks fine, but. Definitely, we should have more buildings. Oh, maybe I cannot. Why I cannot sort this one? Oh, maybe because of the joint. Okay, maybe we can just update it, and then after that, we can take a look at it. So if you want, if if I want to update it, so I don't wanna just I need all of them, and after that, the land parcel ID should be exactly same as joint layer GML then it will be okay so yes perfect and then after that just i need to save it so i don't know why some of my buttons doesn't work yeah i don't know okay just i will deselect it yes i have exactly the same problem but uh, no problem okay i will close it and then also i don't need this join button because i have already everything has already been joined again open the attribute table yes perfect here you can see that everything is fine and i don't know why i cannot sort it but it is no problem so we can say that land parcel gml id is equal to this one then we need to select that features okay and i will close it yeah perfect you can see that everything is selected properly exactly all the buildings which are inside this full stuck so before uh, finishing this tutorial yes it again according to the time but i want to add something more i will deactivate it okay now i wanted to see the land parcel number inside the attribute table of osm building again we will use the so i so again uh, we are using the uh, sorry what happened so dot 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 properties because i have it now two screens the problem it comes from there but yeah we will handle it it's no problem uh, so the join and then after that now i want to make a join between the the current building so the osm building with the osm land parcel so the field will be gml id 
and then we will connect it with a foreign key. So primary key, foreign key. It's really nice. Then which information we wanna see? Just I wanted to see the number and also OSM land parcel. So it is completely correct. Okay, okay. And then I want to click here. I will see here. So it's it's really really nice. Just just see it. Okay, just sort by OSM land parcel. Yes. Perfect. You can see it. Everything now is sorted according to the number. So you can also visualize it in the queue field everywhere according to this. Uh, join. Uh, yes, I think it's enough for this tutorial or maybe also we can change the color. We can give some symbology to that. So instead of this one, maybe we can go to the categorize and after that we can use a random color apply oh no sorry classified no we need to classify according to the not land parcel id yes i also it can be the land parcel id then we are classified and we don't need this one apply okay yes you see that it it looks really nice you can see all the category of the building yes and also if you are for example now here is the land parcel if i'm clicking on osm building if i'm clicking on it so also i can see the osm land parcel number yeah it was it was i think it is it's enough for today and yes it was about the primary key foreign key how we can bring the data from the shape file to the geo package and yes all you need to make your first join inside the QGIS. Uh, thanks a lot for all your attentions. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment it in the comment section below. See you all in the next video. Bye.